Hi, what's up guys? A warm welcome you to my channel AKG Infotech. We are going to perform how to add exchange certificates in Exchange Server 2019. Most of the exchange admins never try to add the exchange certificate in their lab environment. Moreover, if you are planning for hybrid migration in Office 365, it's must to install exchange certificate as it's a prerequisite by Microsoft. Friends, let's check out how easily we can do that. So this is my Exchange Server 2019 which I installed in the last video in my demo lab. Friends, in the top address bar we can see the Exchange web address is not secure. It's common to see few websites running in the intranet environment with similar warning message. Exchange control panel or OWA for email access cannot be opened without HTTPS. For the test or demo purposes, it's okay. However, when you are in the production environment, it becomes necessary to install certificates soon after you install Exchange Server on-premise. So let's quickly check out the easy steps to install Exchange Certificate. At the left hand pane, I will click on Servers, then Certificates at the right hand side. Friends, I would like to show you the certificates I have downloaded in the C drive for my Exchange Server. So there are four files. Friends, we will be using .pfx file as our exchange certificate. So coming back to the exchange server, I will click on three dots and click on import exchange certificate. So you can see we cannot directly browse to that folder. We have to share it first and use its network path. So to share it, we will right click on that folder and click on properties, then sharing tab. We'll click on share this folder and we'll copy the network path of the folder having exchange certificates inside it. Now we will enter the network path and friends we copied the folder path but the certificate file name inside it is akginfotech.pfx and with .pfx file there is a password associated with it at the time of its creation. When you create .pfx certificate it asks you to create the password for security. I will select the mailbox server on which this certificate will be installed. We finally added the certificate in our Exchange Server 2019. So friends, wasn't that easy? It was. You can also see it's not a self-signed certificate. However, it's a third party certificate and will be valid till 23rd of December 2018. Friends, till now we just added the certificate. However, it will not be active until we assign the services to it. So let's double click on it and click on services. We will see none of the services are currently assigned. So at present we are not using POP and IMAP and we will only be using SMTP and IIS. So I will enable them and click on save. I will override the existing self-signed certificate and we have to log out and login back for the changes to take effect. I will open the Chrome browser and type https colon two forward slashes mail.akginfotech.com forward slash ecp and finally we are all set. Congratulations friends, the red warning message of not secure in the browser disappeared and our exchange certificate is fully functional. Now if I publish our exchange environment to the internet, it will open without any warnings in the address bar. Friends, let me show you few details of my exchange certificate as well. I will click on the lock icon then click on certificate and the details tab and if I click on the subject alternate name you can see this certificate has five names included in it. Friends I also run a blog website akginfotech.com so I use the same certificate there as well for HTTPS. As you can see mail.akginfotech.com is included in the certificate which is our exchange web address and that is why we are not getting any red warnings in the address bar now. Friends I forgot to tell you one thing that I have added the mail record in the DNS. Let me show that quickly. So in the forward lookup zone you can see host a record with the name mail is mapped to the static private IP address of the exchange server 2019. And if I open my exchange using localhost I will still get the red not secure warning message as localhost is not there in the subject alternate name of the exchange server we installed. Friends, the process of installing exchange certificate remains the same no matter you have exchange version 2016, 
2013 or 2010. Make sure while creating the CSR of the exchange certificate, you must include the exchange web address that is mail.akginfotech.com and also the autodiscover.akginfotech.com. At least these two names should be included in the certificate to run exchange environment smoothly and is one of the prerequisite to perform hybrid migrations in Office 365. So friends, wasn't this video interesting? I hope you would have got an idea on how to install exchange certificates. I tried my best to keep the things as simple as possible. Still, it could be new to someone watching it the first time. I assure you to bring such useful videos in the future as well. If you got to know something new, subscribe it now and hit the bell icon to get all my latest videos first. Thank you for being a part of AKG Infotech.